Hi, I'm Keris and I'm National Entrepreneur of the Year of 2022. Uh, my business is called The Cullen Academy and I run Irish dance classes in Leicester. Hi, my name is Javeen. I'm the National Entrepreneur winner of 2023 and my business is called The Goat Clothing. At The Goat Clothing, we focus on being sustainable, exclusive and expressing our individuality. At GCSE, I did business mm -hmm. and like, that was like the only subjects I actually like, properly enjoyed. Yeah. And like, I did well in it, so I thought I might as well carry on at college. And then I found the, the Peter Jones Enterprise Academy and I was like, like that's like the main one that stands out because mm -hmm. it's like mostly entrepreneurship and things like Literally, that. Literally, yeah. And because I know that I wanted to do my dancing and take that further, like I thought that was like the right course to go into. Mm -hmm. My story is a little different. So I was in America um, most of 2022 and I knew I was coming back like around the September times. Yeah. And I, so my, in my previous colleges, I never actually ever finished a course just because I just did not like school. Oh. <laughs> and like business again was like probably like, the only thing that in, like interested me. Yeah. Um, and I had my clothing business and I knew I wanted to take that forward. So I was just like, like legit scouring the internet, trying to find like business courses to do. Yeah. Um, and then I applied to the Leicester, um, college course, but it was actually B Tech Business, not the Peter Jones. Yeah. Then Bina calls me when I'm in America, <laughs> and she's like, "You have to come on the course. Like, you you can win money." Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I was like, mm, "Okay, I guess." So, yeah. and I ended up moving to Leicester and then coming here and doing the course. And like you said, because it was like more of an entrepreneurial aspect to yeah. the course rather than just learning about straight business, I thought that actually might help me more because I want to be an entrepreneur yeah. and it was giving us skills to help become one. So yeah. I think it was just inevitable and yeah, I don't regret it. Yeah. yeah, I feel like the normal business courses just teach you like about the business world, but they don't yeah. actually like get you involved in it and like you can't do it for yourself to experience Literally. what it's going to be like. And yeah, you have like when we do like trading, and yeah. you have like the kind of insight of what it's going to be like to actually trade your business or like how you're going to be seen in the entrepreneurial world. Like they actually yeah. genuinely give you skills yeah. to help when you want to leave the course. So I think it's very good of like um, helping us identify if you even want to be an entrepreneur as well, because yeah. they teach you the skills you need to require to be one, how to set up a business and stuff like that. And like we do the business surgeries where you actually meet Leicester locals. Yeah, because at the start, I didn't even know if that's like what I wanted to yeah. do. But like when I went through it and like especially second year when we did trading and everything, I was like, like where I felt comfortable. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I won maybe like September. So it's been a few months. It hasn't yeah. been long at all. Um, it's still quite fresh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, still very fresh. Yeah. Um, but it's been very, it's, it's been very life-changing in a sense. Like I feel like it's overwhelming. Like the like straight after it's like whoa. Like, yeah. And now you've you've like got to put all your like all into it. Exactly, and it's like everyone's asking me, okay, what are you doing next? And like you have to kind of like have something yeah. to show. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. So I I at the start I definitely felt pressure, just and like very overwhelmed just by like how much like eyes were on me and like how I have to kind of like present myself as, and stuff like that, but. At this current moment of time, like I'm genuinely enjoying the process and like yeah. actually learning how a business starts up, like from the bottom, um, and learning uh, learning things I should do and I shouldn't do and like stuff like that. So even having like this space here has allowed me to like become better at business and you know learn more things. Yeah, and I think me winning first year is a good thing and a bad thing. I say that because. Now I've won, like, there's a certain pressure on me yeah. to, like, continue to excel. Yeah, you, they've got, like, expectations. Yeah, because, yeah. like, you won and then you left. So yeah. it's, like, they can't really see what you're doing. Like, I feel like I have eyes on me all the yeah. time. But it's also a good thing because it's, like, motivating and it pushes me to continue to do good. Um, and then also be, like, a voice for the year one students yeah. and help progress them and help them if they want to apply for the competition at the end of the year. So I, I'd give it 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like um, since winning, especially um, like after when I was like speaking to different people, I've been going to like networking events and like speaking to other business owners and then they can like give me advice on like my own business and like starting up and things like that. 
since obviously when you win, like your name is now kind of like highlighted in like the retrospects of like the business community. So there was um, a Leicester Business Festival in November of last year that Rapinda brought me to. And just the back end of just like talking to them about my experience and winning, they were so much more interested to get to know my business. And then through there, I was able to like foster relations with them and then they'd give me advice and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, I think networking is a very big thing because mm -hmm. It's better to hear it from people who have failed and tried and then been successful yeah. than people who say, yeah, like give you like generic advice. Yeah. So, because there's some things I had no clue how to do, yeah. especially like when it comes to finances and stuff like that, like. Yeah, it goes over <laughs> Yeah, completely <laughs> like lost track of that. So it's good to like have people that want to help. And I think in my opinion, like lesser people are very helpful here. Like yeah. a lot of business um, owners, like they want to help younger businesses coming up and like Jenny will just give you good advice yeah so yeah I think definitely create a community like you said and communicate with people yeah. and build networks so I feel like the hardest thing for me was finding the venue to teach in in the first place because mm -hmm. I need somewhere big enough to like hold the amount of like kids that I'm Could teaching you, yeah. um but then I don't want somewhere like too expensive where it's like I'm not breaking even or, yeah exactly and then I feel like sometimes when like people are like hiring out different like halls or like studios or something like they think because I'm young and a woman like they I don't really know what I'm what I'm yeah, talking about or yeah so they they might like just take advantage basically yeah overcharge you and yeah, stuff like yeah. that and I just don't think people took me seriously as like a business owner yeah um and it's like I had to constantly be like well I have the money like <laughs> yeah. I'm, like I have it it's <laughs> is here, like, I have the proof type thing. So I just had to find different ways to work around it. And then I went on LinkedIn and I kind of just made a post that like, does anyone know any units available that I could rent? And then I met my landlords, which are so nice, like, and they were able to, like, um, help me through it and, like, help any anything I needed facilitate all of that for me. Yeah. Um, so they believed in my business and they believed in me and they could see me as like an eligible businesswoman, which is always good. But you, like you said, you find those people that don't yeah. because of our age, because of cause we're women, unfortunately. There's that prejudice against us that like, maybe we're just doing this for fun or like it's yeah. not serious. Yeah. But I feel like when we do find those people that believe in us, like that's just what pushes us. Yeah, like, like you said earlier, how you have like the network still at Leicester College and like the, um, the foundation, yeah. they're still always like communicating with you and trying to find out what you're doing. Yeah. It only inspires you more to keep going because you don't want to let them people... Yeah, and then it's like I'm doing yeah. it for them as well. Yeah, like you don't let the people who believe in you down. Yeah. Um, and like that's where I started it all in the first place. So like why wouldn't I like... Yeah, literally... And it's like encouraging for me because even seeing you win last year and yeah. then like Bina being like, yeah, like Keris won, like you can do it. Yeah. It, it fueled me more to be like, yeah, I can. Like yeah. I actually can do it. Like yeah. not second guessing myself or doubt myself. I'm sure like within the competition, you probably doubted yourself. Oh, I might not win or I'm not yeah. good enough and my business doesn't stand a chance. And then to be actually recognised for our talents is like at such a young age as well is really like fundamental to our success. Yeah. yeah. Happy International Women's Day!